Hello. First of all, thank you very much for this chance to speak here. Beyond you, people of crazy ideas. I always uh, respected that in life because I believed that only crazy ideas can influence the world and only crazy ideas make our life meaningful. A very crazy thing happened in Ukraine this winter. Millions of people who lived the same life as you are living now, going to the cafes, to the conferences, listening to presentations and going to the theaters and so on. In several weeks, millions of people stood up and went on frozen cold on the streets just to fight for their rights to live a normal life, to live life without corruption, to have a just and honest government. Here what we had. It all began with 400 students who disagreed with our former president, Viktor Yanukovych. One day he decided that we do not want to go to Europe, we do not need any association agreement, we have to go to Russia and uh, to cooperate with them economically and mentally and so on. 400 students went to the street. They spent nights on peaceful protest. But one night they were badly, brutally, bloody beaten by the riot police. We call them Berkut. After that, the next days, millions of us went to the streets. And millions of us spent months during the winter staying there. Day after day, night after night. Me, my family, my dad and my mom and my brothers, we were the part of this protest. My brothers uh, were, part, were part of uh, self-defense. Uh, my, my mom went to this protest every day after her work. She works in medicine uh, and um, she helped people and just stand there. And um, me and my students, I was teaching during the, pro uh, during the pro uh, protest. Actually, I'm a PhD student. Uh, in Ukrainian literature in uh, Kyiv, and uh, during uh, the protest, uh, I was uh, teaching this uh, period of uh, modern. And uh, with my students, we went on the streets day after day, night after night, and uh, nothing, nothing helped. After two months of peaceful protests, nothing changed. Authority just ignored us and then first killed people appeared. The snipers shoot it to men and that impressed me so deeply that I created uh, this video. It was, it was frozen night and uh, it was hard to speak even, but I understood that if, if I didn't try to do at least something. I do not dare to live in a normal country. We were, you have to imagine this atmosphere when each of us were a part of a, of a big idea or a part of big organism, I don't know, the part of something. And each of us was um, Equal. We were. It, it, it was a kind of big of social, uh, kind of a big social network. It it does. It didn't. It didn't matter if you are a student or you are a millionaire. You contributed all the time. You contributed. You you were doing sandwiches or you were doing videos or you were 
uh, making the barricades as my friend architect, or you were creating libraries, or you were singing, or you were fighting, whatever. You were the part of these protests. And uh, the small things, uh, thing I done was uh, this video. Uh, in a few days it became very popular, like, it became viral. And uh, I was occupied with calls from different world medias asking me to um, give them some comments to tell what's going on. And I didn't, I didn't sleep, I, I, I didn't have any time for anything because uh, people were being killed there. During a few days, hundreds of people were, ki were being killed and I understood that my small contribution will be just to tell their stories, just to give them the voice. As Tor said, that that's our role, to give the voice. After that, um, I, I, I appeared uh, on, on different TV channels. I talked to more than 100 head of states. I was trying to share our message, our story, as far as possible, because I understood that uh, that's the only chance for Ukraine uh, to, to win this uh, war against uh, our authority and against uh, propaganda. I was asked by David how, how, my, how, how my life changed after that. From, uh, from students to, to a spokesperson. And actually, after he asked, I thought, what happened? I understood that I had more friends on Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I have really less time for my real friends. I understood that the questions that I asked myself changed. Instead of asking myself what is the sense of my life, my question became what senses bring my country to the world? What is the sense of existing my country? What is the sense of, of existing your country today? And I understood that today Ukraine bring the sense to values back. We showed that values matters. We showed that fight for freedom matters. We showed that sacrificing matters. 100 people who gave their life for us to have a chance to build a free and independent state, they proved that sacrificing matters. Today, we are standing against one more challenge. We have an even bigger fight. Our former friend and uh, neighbor attacked us, sent their troops on our territory, occupied the part of our land, and started an undeclared war. They are creating never-ending never conflict. And it's really hard to predict what will, be ne what, what will go next. But we still believe that this spirit of values, this value of sacrificing, will help us to build our country. Um, actually, here is one more consequences of and what happened after the video. Um, I met one of your favorite celebrity, Richard Branson. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
that's Ukraine. Ukraine is a country full of talented people. In the past, we, we invented the helicopter. In the past, we were the, the country who pushed the practical astronomy forward. Astro uh, astronautic. Uh, sorry for my English. Today we are the country. What the, today we are the country which spread values, and I believe that tomorrow we will be the country who, based on education and technology, will influence all the world. We we have a great spirit of freedom. We have a great sp spirit of changes, and I'm sure that. Each of you, people of crazy ideas, will find something special in Ukraine. I want you to watch us. I want you to watch how we develop. I want you to be with us in that special moment. Because I know that war will end will one day, and Ukrainians, these naive dreamers, who can give their lives for their dreams and fight for their dreams, will create the country of, of this dream. And we will never forget how it all began. We will never forget the people who sacrificed their life for us to have this chance. May I ask you to show the video? Mom, I will come to your dreams and tell you about my new home. Now Angel is singing to me and it's not painful anymore. My soul is missing you, my dear. Mom, sorry for, for my death, sorry that, that you will be alone now. I love you, I love Ukraine, Ukraine as you is the only one for me.